Hey guys, welcome to Biro Pens 2. Hey! Bonkers. Uh, I'm Stephen Tries. This is episode 42, aka Biro Pens 2. This week I'm joined by Cameron Green. Hiya. Hey! <laughs> Cameron Green Pen. Hiya. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, Max Smith. Hey, Smith fans. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I'm going to have you steal my work. I'm going to say WH Smith pen. Ah, that's good. Smith that's better, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck off. So you've actually, Smith you actually pen. gave green pen some thought as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big time. Wow, and nice. Tom Looney. Hey, One of those pens with like four colours and you can. Yeah. Oh, there. that's insane, bonkers, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they were insane. Yeah. They also have green in them. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Stay tuned for the uh, obscene green. <laughs> <laughs> or not. That's <laughs> incredible. Wow. Oh. I did wow. say get out, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> There's some yeah, squid gonna... watching this at home yeah. thinking that's my catchphrase right sorted. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not copyrighted. It the is squid now. game. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Who would who would die last on that out of us four? Are we are we going with the games that they had in the show? Yeah. Okay, I've not seen it. Uh, um, so you have to kind of decide for me when I die. Okay, Tom. Uh, I reckon you'd make it through the first round. It's like it's like grandmother's footsteps. Yeah, I think um, I'd go out of that. But I'd probably breathe in too much and then just get <laughs> shot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd lose bang on first easy. I'd be no. I, I might make it through that one, and then what was next? Then it was, was it the cookie one? The, you have to jab out the uh, oh, shape. Yeah. You have to do that, yeah. yeah. And there was tug of war. Tug of That's war. potluck whose team you're on, really. Exactly. Oh. Well, I've only got one shoulder, one ankle, shaky hands, bad lungs. Yeah. All round only. loser this week, I would <laughs> <laughs> if, it was, if it was all the podcasts. I reckon Dave, Dave would probably make it furthest because uh, he's a dark horse like that. No, Sheer do dumb luck, yeah. Yeah. I'd push him in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going. <laughs> he steps aside and you just fall. <laughs> 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 no. The guards are laughing too much to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's the impact that kills you. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you fell, I think we'd all laugh. That's the issue. That would be so bad, wouldn't it? Especially if you didn't want to fall. Yeah, Yeah, I wouldn't want to. No, of course. (laughs) Why would I want to? I've been waiting for a comedy for all my life. So we we have filmed a video this week. It might be out. It should be out by the time this is out. So Mm. then we can talk about it. I went to Glasgow, mm. doing a little race. Yeah, yeah. Just a little one. Great fun. little race, yeah. <laughs> uh, there was so much going on. Um, we were split into three teams of two. Yep. There was myself and Ryan, uh, Tom and James Ormrod, and Max and Cam, mm. the defending yeah. losers. <laughs> <laughs> and true to form. <laughs> what was your favourite part of the day? The, uh, the fan video was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We had to go to a Scottish football stadium. <laughs> uh, we went to Celtic. You t- went to Motherwell. Yeah, we both Motherwell, went to yeah. Park. Motherwell. Yeah. I very nearly weed myself, uh, not with excitement, but uh, everywhere, like every hour, I'd have to weed desperately. Mm. And then we got to Celtic. I was like, oh God, there's no toilets around here. And I went to Ryan. I'm going to wet myself. So I ran off to the club shop and they went, oh, there's a toilet over there. So I went in the stadium. Well, a little wee wee. Nice. Everyone was very friendly, I found. Yeah, in Scotland, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a lot going on. My my highlights. Uh, Ryan was of course dressed as an elf again, which was just great, great fun. Well, I, th- I think this is quite incredible, really, because we all, you know, we're all on our way from Manchester to Glasgow. Mm. We got a set task to do, and we all ended up on Morecambe Beach with one of us dressed as a little Christmas elf. Wow. Yeah. Which, you know, it's quite a... It's this. A mad... Yeah. Beautiful for the people at Morecambe. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what they were thinking. <laughs> That's the third one today. The <laughs> EDL. Some, <laughs> some, <laughs> something's happening. <laughs> Somebody must have thought there was like a weird convention going yeah. on, you know. Just uh, <laughs> scurrying onto the beach. <laughs> Running off, <laughs> like that. and driving off as fast as they can. The shit is fun run. 
<laughs> the fun lumber. Of the elves. <laughs> Has anyone checked like the Morecambe Inquirer to see him? <laughs> like, the the Morecambe Inquirer. No, Cam. <laughs> no, I haven't. So I have to miss something out of my schedule. <laughs> Could be in the talk of the town. <laughs> Where are the elf boys? <laughs> Have you checked your sheds? <laughs> Spencer seals they were in buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Bags of sand from B and Q. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, was yeah. close. Very close. Uh, yeah. I, th- I think yeah, my favourite part for a small second was when I thought we'd won. Yeah. So I was, I was just I really doing did. the classic Jeremy Clarkson thing of just winding up the other team. Yeah. Oh, we're not there. Yeah. Um, it was yeah, way too close for comfort because if you when you see the video, me and Ryan have. Ryan in particular is very cocky. He was on the beach celebrating, saying, <laughs> we've won, we've won. Uh, because I uh, I thought, because I've I've written the challenges, I'm going to have to let Ryan decide which beach we go to, where the ice rink is, oh, no. and do stuff like that so that it wasn't me just going, yeah. we'll go here, we'll go there. Uh, and he, he did well. He did well to him. Oh, we were beat by Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Just, just <clears throat> Ryan's. <clears throat> Mind, yeah, man. Oh, he just thinks on a different plane to us, so it doesn't mean he's clever. It just means he's yeah, he's tuned bit. into yeah. a different yeah. frequency. Yeah. Gets it, yeah. And you don't, yeah, <sighs> yeah. But you were beaten by him as well, so no, no, no. you know, I was, not, just, I was just badly. <laughs> <laughs> You know? We beat ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the challenges. Yeah. <laughs> just on that. So we, waste, we wasted so much time. <laughs> I was stood there with the case. Now you can have the code. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> or not, you're still not finished. <laughs> but no, great, a great time I had by all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we yeah, went out, way. went out that night in Glasgow. <sighs> painted the town red uh, or green or yellow, or something that isn't religious. Um, and uh, Jimmy O, aka James Ormod. Uh, he, was, he seemed drunk before we even met up. Really. Well, me and him went for a couple of beers before because we were kind of ready quite quick. Yeah, and yeah. you had your whole kerfuffle with a kerfuffle. Yeah, your oh, room yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so. your last place room. Yeah, so we went for a few beers. I mean, I, it's not really crush. spoiling it. You know who loses, um, yeah. and you hurt your shoulder when you threw your toys at the pram. <laughs> 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 Again, one of the challenges. <laughs> <laughs> buy, buy some toys get Cam to really really like the toys attach himself to the toys love the toys and then throw the toys onto the M6 that is so cruel no! <laughs> just a space off of <laughs> knock it out uh, sorry to go back to the last place room which was uh, it looked bad on the pictures oh, yeah. then when we actually got the it was horrific, and I've read through the reviews of other people, and I feel bad because it's like Spanish people, French people, Dutch people, and they've turned up there, and it is the biggest shithole. Yeah, it's like something out like of Harry Brown. Like uh, the room was screaming. very warm as I was handcuffed to the radio <laughs> all night. Yes, we know tengo. I tried to. I tried to. Basically, we knocked on the door. There was nothing. Like no answer. Yeah. So I tried to email saying. Look, we we were there. There was no answer. Can I have the thirty pounds back, please? And they were like, uh, "No, that's the si- uh, there's no like no evidence you were there." And I went, oh, we filmed it, and so there was screenshot. Oh wow, yeah. Like <laughs> and then they said, uh, um, "Well, you well, you didn't try and call us or anything." I was like, "We were at the door knocking." Um, yeah. Basically, we didn't want to go in. Um, but uh, then I went away with it. I yeah, went man. to them. You <clears throat> refund me or I leave a review. <laughs> You'd leave a review. And uh, I said, I wouldn't wish this place on my worst enemy. <laughs> Which happens to be the host of, the, uh, the host of this room. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it's on like a, a hotel website. It's been Yeah, yeah. No, that's ridiculous. There's, there's like B&Bs and then there's... <laughs> I think it was like an Airbnb or was it like a real... It must... They, it must yeah. be, they are on booking.com now. Oh, it, it shouldn't be though. That was, that was awful. awful. Yeah. A lot of discussion in the group chat between yourself and James Ormrod. Yeah. You you seem to love going at each other. I think you're, you're made for it. You know, where, where has Tom, you know, dialed it back? I'd, I'd take great pleasure in mercilessly ribbing <laughs> James Ormrod all day. <laughs> just just no breaks, no stops. Yeah. No. Oh, you drive? <laughs> <laughs> well, the a good very, chat was happening when the driver. camera wasn't on, though, so then you'd like to say, let's do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Try and set it yeah. up again. <laughs> Come on, you've still got one good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe me and you can go on a team. Yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. Yeah. Which leaves me with... Oh, no. Who else is it? 
Brian Brian or kind of Dave or... I've won with both of them. Yeah. Maybe, stick, both maybe of them. stick them together and I'll just be like the, the gatekeeper. Ryan and they never arrive. Ooh, Ryan and Dave. We yeah. turn up to the old fucking city and be on fire. Which is what we were going to. <laughs> <laughs> then you got there 10 minutes before the rest of us. <laughs> they beat you. Yeah. <laughs> already. They're already. They're already. They're already. They're already. They've already won, mate. James gets to the place. <laughs> I'm still at this fucking starting line. <laughs> oh, God. There's a yeah, funny bit where uh, you two arrive in the hotel oh. and then Ormod goes, Is that Stephen's laugh? They're like, No. And then when you, I watched our version and we were going up in the lift and you could just hear me laughing going... <laughs> You're kidding me? Yeah. He was right. Yeah. That's it's unbelievable. My, my manic laugh. <laughs> so I can see that. So when we got there... Yeah. We were like, oh, Stephen, La- Stephen Lawson. <laughs> Stephen Lawson's uh, checked in yet. Yeah. And then you could just hear you guys just laughing in the background. Yeah. I heard so, two oh. sets of voices and went to the woman. Oh. <laughs> we were you, so you, happy. You were so depressed when you came into yeah, the bar. Yeah, of course we were. Did, did you thought you'd... It won. Yeah, genuinely, yeah. <laughs> That's a, it's amazing how we all... I thought we'd won. Mm. And then... Uh, it's one of them, if you look back at, like, how close it was, wasn't yeah. it, like, 20 minutes? There was a reason to think we'd all won. Yeah. It was we'd all... Nine minutes between our team and Tom, Gee, and then 25 yeah. between oh. our team and you. And we ran past the fucking hotel in the rain. Have you got the footage of yeah. that? There's, the, the clip that sums up your race is it? it uh, the camera comes on and oh my God, goes, we ran past it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and nine minutes as well. Yeah. That, that would have been so... Co- oh. Yeah, man. We, we were... We well, were it's me. Okay. <laughs> thing is, you can just look back on everything you did that yeah. day and just go, oh, if we didn't do that, we didn't do that. But, you know... Uh, I knew I shouldn't have coughed. <laughs> We're losing time. I should have left you to choke. Yeah. <laughs> 25 minutes on a Heimlich when I go back. <laughs> yeah, I just turned up on my own at the hotel, just covered in blood. <laughs> I'd made it, man. It's all worth it, man. <laughs> plans for Christmas. Oh. Got any plans? Working. Where are you going? What are you doing? Working. Working till the 20th, yeah, every day. I'll oh, bring yeah. the mood down. Yeah. Uh, Got a but then, I've, since after that, I've took like uh all the time till new year off i'm just waiting to fa- make plans shit to do mm. for new year and that actually going out in st helens on boxing day i would imagine hell. so that's that's the highlight of my really? december Jesus <laughs> <Christ. Up> to <laughs> this point <laughs> what about you um i don't know i'm just too old for christmas now wow oh, wow <clears throat> yeah how can you be too old for christmas well, as in, as in, you know, for me to be excited. It mm. evolves, doesn't it, into something else it's to be excited drinking, about. It's isn't it? Yeah. Just drink, <laughs> drink a couple it. of days off, getting sloshed. I'm That's what I'm looking ready. forward to. Yeah. Christmas pie. Christmas. My Christmas venom bowl. <laughs> Christmas pie. <laughs> My Christmas pie filled with sprouts and gravy. Mmm. You can help me scour the M6 for all them toys that max throughout the car. <laughs> you can re you your dildo. <laughs> Not sleeping in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plans what about for you, Christmas. Tom? Yeah. Uh, work will be quiet over Christmas, so I don't know, probably, probably go somewhere. Christmas Twister, you love that? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. man. With the family. Red hand blue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll have Christmas dinner at home. Uh, I'll probably do some driving because. I've not caught, I've not done the motorways yet. Yeah. Uh, for Chris, don't drive on a motorway aimlessly. It'll be empty. It's good enough for Chris Ria. <laughs> Christmas Day driving. <laughs> Must have driven <laughs> away from home. New Year's Day. Last like a lovely nice. icy road on Christmas <laughs> <laughs> well, well, not be icy, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Marquis yeah. drive through for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, not on Christmas Day. I can't Merry wait Christmas to see everyone. their faces. <laughs> Over the Christmas period. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pens. Uh, Biro pens. pens. Biro Two. Pens. Yeah, yeah. Jeez Louise. Um, so, oh, we <laughs> forgot to mention. No. So, as we were on the way to go into your terrible. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, place tom gave us a call oh, okay. uh, about what james ormond had been up to uh would you like to tell us uh james uh, was involved in a motor incident <laughs> <laughs> well we thought it would you know the whole it seemed inevitable yeah 
and then to get to, it's to make a shame it all that the happened, way, yeah, after with the fact. no issues, and then just to drive through the city to our hotel to the car park from one from one queue park to another. Five <laughs> minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you won't mind me saying it, it was it was dark and it was raining. Conditions yeah. weren't wonderful. Lots busy of lights. In the, busy in the city. Yeah, yeah man. And, uh, he, he's taking a look. He, he was he's behind a car turning right, and he wanted to move over into the other lane so we could go. And he's just gone into <sighs> someone's car, taking off the. Uh, we banked on that. We um, we called that that had happened yeah. did, like, at about two. That exact two, accident. Three o'clock. Like <laughs> that style accident. Pretty much just that James was gonna like hold your team up by crashing that car at some stage. There's, there's a point where the motorway. There's like a I could see police cars bombing ahead. And then <laughs> yeah. The crash. I was like, that's definitely on rod. I was convinced. I was yeah. like. He's done something. <laughs> I can just imagine the last bit of footage being, Tom, don't put the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, why are you starting singing a Christmas carol? <laughs> I love that. I mean, all them emergency vehicles means we're like, if it is us, we're likely dead. <laughs> so, that'll be James. <laughs> Ryan, put, put this. <laughs> I was going to Ryan. Tom would have called us, wouldn't he, if they'd crashed? He would have said something. Maybe he couldn't. <sighs> Well, we at least <laughs> winning. <laughs> Tell me we were in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're being beaten by Ryan. <laughs> no, <laughs> just hear a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a dream, mate. Eh? Oh, the the Netflix fight episode is out. What's hey! that? I think it's once a month now. A bit like a period. Yeah. Oh. I shouldn't. That's... <laughs> Put that on the poster. Yeah. yeah, they didn't make a poster. The House of Gucci film is out. So, Ooh. my question to you is: If you could see a film based around uh, a different clothing brand, <laughs> what would it be? Matalan. Fred Perry, uh, House of Fred Perry. I said, I said Matalan, yeah. House of Matalan, that'd yeah. be good. Where's that based? I don't know. I just saw someone tweet it. It was very hacky of me to steal the joke. Whoa! Get out. All right, can you change it to Peacocks? House of Peacocks. Yeah, that, that sounds good. quite good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does sound good. Yeah. But deliver that. Um, Chinos. Yeah. House of Chinos. <laughs> Chinos on a brand. I want to know much about fashion if, fucking hell. Yeah. If Ryan made a brand, it would be <laughs> the called Chino. Fashion Chinos. boys. Did you know he brought Chino shorts? Because on the oh. on the challenge video, I said to bring shorts yeah. uh, oh. or trackies. And he brings Chino shorts. Oh, He's in the gym doing a leg press with Chino shorts. On. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. uh, what about House of Mackenzie? Yeah, I don't know if you've ever been to JD. Yeah. No. That's a it's a very popular <clears throat> brand. Uh, yeah, Cops House and of Cocktails. St George by Duffer. Duffer? <laughs> that like the most... I've seen Duffer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, St George by Duffer. I never saw anyone wearing the clothes, just saw the, the little strap bags you used to get. You know, the plastic drawstring <laughs> bags. And every fucker was walking around with them in St. Helens. House, House of Lonsdale. F and F by Sainsbury's. That's a dumb lot. Was it F and F and Fred? Fred. F and F is test. Tazda. Is it? No, that's no, just that's George. George. <clears throat> Oh, hey. I'm Sir George now. What's Tesco? What's it's, Tesco's F and F. Is it? Yeah. 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 Well, I don't get my Fred's from there. Let's all go to Tesco. You know, Max Tom buys his best clothes <laughs> and he remembers the name of the brand. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> just yeah, film. loser. <laughs> you fucking loser, Tom. There's the trailer for the house of Tesco. <laughs> An avant-garde descent into madness. <laughs> a two-hour slow zoom into <laughs> Max's face. Liz, uh, <laughs> 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 so insecure. I win. <laughs> well, that's definitely by Tesco. Yeah, right, Tom. <laughs> you, you know better than I do. <laughs> Check your receipts, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> He's just filming one shot. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, that's what, that's what Cameron said, yeah? Oh, fuck it. God, <laughs> fucking hell. Just did the self-checkout voice going off. <laughs> Tom, what about you? Uh, you what? Like to see the, clothing. Like, the family that made a clothing brand and you want to you know, get to know. the backstory. Uh, I shop exclusively in charity shops these days. As so. of Oxfam. House yeah. of, uh, yeah. House Healthy of, Aged. House of Cantorese. <laughs> house of Healthy <laughs> Aged. Oh, there you go, keep it. <laughs> it's a load of our folk wearing like fucking Will I Am shades. <laughs> Sp sparkly jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Big up, Tom. Woo. <laughs> 
Who wants some news? It's a lot of news going on. News, Me, please. News. Boris Johnson has not denied a Christmas party was held in number 10 last year <laughs> while the government made everyone else cancel theirs. Aren't the pictures of it? Probably. Yeah. We're taken by Boris. <laughs> Put on Twitter, delete it quickly. <laughs> Remember on there. Uh... <laughs> Just comments underneath it, shit, take it down. <laughs> Come on, Denise. Oh, it doesn't surprise you, does it? It's, no. It's horrendous, though, isn't it? Like... It's another letdown. When the people who are making the rules are breaking the rules. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe there wasn't a party, but everybody just thought there was music going on. Cause it sounded like Boris beatboxing. He was trying to give a speech going... <laughs> or he was playing Just Dance by himself. <laughs> there was a party. There was many people there, actually. <laughs> Hundreds. It wasn't just me. <laughs> just photoshopped the lady. <laughs> Is that Katie Price in there? <laughs> Oh, did you see his speech at the uh, that business conference where he's Peppa talking Pig. about Peppa Pig World yeah. and then forgets his lines? What? He's, he's no. a mess, isn't he? Yeah, and then the journalist after him asked, after, asked him afterwards if it was okay. Forget it. <laughs> this is our prime minister. <laughs> Wait, what? He was in what the northeast, speaking to northeast business leaders yeah. in a section of the country that's dying. Yeah. I don't know. But in London, we got a really, really fun Peppa Pig World yeah. down in London. You, you, you should all go. Have you right been now. to Peppa Pig World? <laughs> and then, 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 hashtag ad. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets a briefcase from Peppa Pig. It's all now, but for the house of Peppa Pig. <laughs> That'd be good. God, yeah, that would do well. That would do well. You would. Shall I get your clothes from there? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good on. I get mine from uh, paint stained shops. Um, nice. Little Mix are, are going to split. No. no! No, no, no! Ten years, Cam. You've uh, you've loved their work. Mm. Yeah, have I? Sorry. <laughs> have I? Yeah, that's it. Is there a thing going on? It's Jesse to tell us that we can't, Jesse. <laughs> we can't break the news. She, she told she you that ages confidence. ago. She she jumped ship, you know. No, she's been sorting it all from behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> any words for a little mix? Ah, yeah. oh, I, I I don't know anything that they've done. Um, one of them, one of them did Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Yeah, I knew yeah, that. Recently had yeah. a boat, babe. I knew that uh, they did a, a dance on TikTok. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Big time. It's okay when they do it though, because one of them did a, a funny um, a Jamaican uh, accent impression. Yeah, she's, yeah. Yeah. she's quit. She's quit. Okay. And she's also faced. Uh, <clears throat> she's quit doing black, accents. Black fishing <laughs> allegations, and that that clip doesn't really help her case. Oh wow, Jesus! <laughs> it's not what you want. No, not at all. She, what, she quit the band. What did she say then? She's quit what? Well, she quit Jamaican doing accents. impressions. Yeah. They did a whole album, but uh, they didn't realise when she went into the booth, she just did a whole <laughs> Jamaican. <laughs> I can't use this. <laughs> What's Bob Marley doing on this track? <laughs> um, maybe there's room for a new band. We could make a band. Yeah, let's do Max. It. Yeah, that's it, yeah. little Max. The only time we've sang together. I think yeah, all four of us sang together, but we were singing our Kelly for a video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that could be what we do. Uh... We sang uh, Enrique. Were all of us in that? Oh, I remember we that video. Yeah, we were. Oh. Yeah. Is that the video only I remember to do any acting in? <laughs> there you act in that big yeah, time. Yeah, I remember that one. Oh, um, great, we, great moment from Homer. <laughs> would you cry if I asked oh, you to cry? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh. Remember when he did the streets as well that time? And oh, <laughs> dry, you're right. Two hours. The lyric video where he had to just say the lyrics. It was key yeah. that he got the lyrics right. Your eyes are wet, mate. <laughs> 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 Dry your towel, mate. <laughs> There's a rack on the side. Just place it on there. <laughs> I'll put the heating it. on. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how much you are hurting from her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, know, I know you. Oh, I can see how much it means for you to hurt. <laughs> what are you on about? Who's in this shot with him? Is it you? It's just you going. Ah. You're in it as well, aren't you? Yeah. I remember him getting super annoyed. <laughs> I know you oh, want to make okay. her pain. <laughs> that was awful that day. Oh, I want to see that footage again. That should have been a challenge in the video. Yeah. <laughs> just, say, just say some lyrics. <laughs> Tom, and, Tom and James are still in Manchester. <sighs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> what do you... Birthday happy. <laughs> to you. It's not your birthday. Sing it! Sing it fucking... I'm not happy though. <laughs> uh, Spotify Wrapped came out. Ooh. Hey, ooh. Anyone here on Spotify? 
yeah, yeah. Just, what was your what was your top artist? Just ten little mix songs. Yes. Nothing else. Oh, whole Spotify. I'm, I'll just cancel it now. Respect. Yeah, man. Yeah. Just cancel it. Rightly so. Mine was Martin Garrix because I'm just a bloody nice. lad. Thomas. Is that? Oh. <laughs> the age. You'd send him a merch drop. <laughs> Beat your house when you get home. <laughs> New zipper. <laughs> the winter warmer payment. <laughs> 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 is it gov.com <laughs> it's beer 52 52, 52. Beer 52 52 how would you like a free case of eight craft beers <laughs> and two extra free for guess how much really oh, fucking 100 quid at least no £5.95 postage Whoa. that's it yeah Let's get into it then. The festive season is upon us, and in the spirit of giving and charity, Beer52 are offering the listeners 10 free beers. All you have to do is go to www.beer52.com forward slash... Stephen. Correct. And cover the 5 95 postage to claim your free case. What's more, do it before the 17th of December. You've got two days uh, to get two extra beers. Wow. They send experts around the globe. Would you like that job, Tom? Uh, going around the globe yeah sure beers, yeah. be nice uh, to find the best be- oh, yeah, uh, best beer available anywhere each month their members receive a new case members have had beer from more than 40 countries across five continents if dog beer's not your thing simply choose the light option you'll receive nuts for men magazine, magazine not nuts magazine they've really they've really parted <laughs> ways with this <laughs> you'll also get two delicious <laughs> snacks and a pair of tits <laughs> After redeeming your first case, you'll join the monthly beer club for £24 per month. No minimum commitment. Pause or cancel at any time. www.beer52.com forward slash Stephen. S T E P H E N. Thank you, beer52.com. Thank you, beer52. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cam, you didn't say thank you. Thanks. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Yes, it's Tom Looney celebrity <laughs> gossip. A strange week for gossip, but here we go. Britney Spears tells her critics to kiss my beautiful white ass while showing off her dresses as she celebrates her 40th birthday in Mexico. <laughs> What's going on there, Tom? Uh, Devon follows uh, Britney Spears on... Planes. One of the... Uh, buses. <laughs> one, one of the social media platforms. <laughs> Okay, we move on to a, <laughs> a new segment. Uh, it's not new at all, but uh, just slightly thrown. <laughs> Can tell me the lookers. I'm quite surprised, to be honest. Yeah, I got it right last week. Hey. This week. Uh, because it was a story I'd heard before. Find better stories, yeah? <laughs> So Boo. I wanted to give you a win, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> I got that in the uh, the race video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, woman feels bad uh, after she finds out her dogs. Is this the headline? Far. Are you making it? Up? <laughs> <laughs> Find the headline. Even, uh, me. The it is, uh, is, was her husband the whole time? United States. <laughs> <laughs> you read it again. Sorry. In Belgium, I don't know. Belgium. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, America. America, well done. Oh, for fuck's sake. Belgium, I mean, that's a weird one. It's a shit. Um, no headline. It's America. Woman, just basically... Just, that was headline news. Yeah. Dog's farting. <laughs> oh, can, I, can, I, can I hear this? I no, hear this. no. Woman's no. eating dinner. Don't save it for your own time. Fart. Yeah. <laughs> and the husband says... The Reliable dog. source is, is now. <laughs> uh, no one's on a ban. Congratulations. It's like rotten eggs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This is... <laughs> These segments are on a roll. <laughs> this is Reliable Source. It's a Christmas edition. Enjoy it. Brandy. Unfavourable. Lit. Never. Maybe. There you go. That was Brandy Source there. No. Never. Never had it? No. I have not really. Is I'm not the... against it, though. I've had brandy. Is it the one you get on Christmas puddings? Yeah. 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 Not on anything else? Yeah, pretty much. That's why it was a Christmas edition. What is it? Mm. It's brandy and like... You can get brandy cream sauce, Sugar. that sort of thing. Yeah. I think you do set it on fire though when it's on Christmas. Yeah. I don't go for Christmas puddings. Never had them. 
Get out of a Cornetto or something. <laughs> Any Christmas Cornetto. Otherwise, get out. Kidding. We we have a look in the freezer. Calippo Cornetto. <laughs> Fucking will do job. Got a chalk ice at the back here. <laughs> 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 you forgot your brandy sauce for your chalk ice. Fuck off. You're not set that on fire, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you saying full Everton kit with the chocolate <laughs> melting slowly. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. And Raff, 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 Sing, Singleton on the back. <laughs> Rafa turns up. This is for me. <laughs> I take this. <laughs> uh, let's slag oh. off the podcast. Hey. <laughs> let's not do it about this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> We are yet again falling down in the charts to new depths. Um, no. We are the chocolates at the back of the freezer. <laughs> depths never before seen by man. That's the way I like this. <laughs> we're going to have explorers discovering us. We're going to have a Channel 5 documentary. We are going to have a Christmas in this game. Oh, my God. Uh, this week it is the Ron Burgundy prog- uh, podcast. A lot of people don't like Will Ferrell. The- yeah. The, the genre of film he made it seems to be dying off, dying mm. a death. You know, a com- comedy, a comedian-driven comedy, like mm. one big star, like, and it's a star vehicle for their thing. Yeah. Like the new Ghostbusters films, when they tried to redo it, you know, they were fucking diabolical, like SNL sort of stuff when they had yeah. Bingo yeah. and it, what what do you do? Um, Sherlock Holmes, Holmes and Watson. Mm. Shocking. That was uh, terrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's. No one's going to him anymore. I so. think he, he gets a, away with it because Adam Sandler was, you know, getting leathered when mm. he was, you know, dropping these shit, <coughs> shit films. Will Ferrell's had a few stinkers. I think yeah. he's had more stinkers than good ones recently. Like that, uh, what's the one with Mark Wahlberg and his, uh, like, dad's home, daddy's home? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's that? If Sandler does that, it's the Razzies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think Adam Sandler's done done well though to get out Recently. of all that. Yeah, Reinvented man. himself. Yeah. Yeah. His head above the ground. Well that's it, he seems to have cottoned on the the genre of films <clears throat> he used to do no one likes anymore. Yeah. Where he's got he the talent to do something else. So So is it just Will Ferrell then? Just Ron Burgundy, mate. But is it Will Ferrell play like Not listen to it. Oh, right, okay. Let's go on to uh, this week's talking point, which, as you guessed it, is Biro Pens. Hey. Have you got a pen-based question? Yeah, I've got a few. Mm, wacky. Cocky. Uh, hey, guys, have you ever had a pen pal? Ooh, great question. Yeah, actually. I yeah. have. Yeah. Oh, well. In school? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. No, neither have I. <laughs> I'm sort of glad that somebody has. That's incredible. Wow. Oh, we together? We, 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 yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> I lived I was, in Bosnia. I was, a, I was a poor boy. Kid Tower from Bosnia. It was uh, the war with Yugoslavia. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But, um, right, in school, do you French or Spanish or something? And then, is it in secondary I did, school I did you had Spanish, to have? Yeah, yeah everyone yeah. in our school had to have a pen pal. For a bit. Well, and then, compulsory pen pal. <laughs> yeah. God, I wish I had that. And Mom's then in you, Ghana. <laughs> fucking Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> compulsory friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just had one to help me learn better French. Mom was in Ghana. <laughs> what? That Ghana. sounds. Yours what? was for school. Was yours just like you just Mom wanted a in, pen pal? It was in school. It was in in Spanish. <laughs> it was like what? some sort of <laughs> some sort of. Uh, We've made a big mistake here, Stephen. <laughs> we have no idea who you're talking to. <laughs> I spoke to them in English. He was a prince. But <laughs> this is the Spanish lesson. I've been sending him my lunch money, man. As <laughs> soon as he wins the lottery, I'm making it big. I'm Michael Essien's dad. <laughs> um, he's been training me. I'm sending videos of me doing squats. <laughs> More like he's a video. Get but... me a trial at Chelsea. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Fuck you know. Is it, so it was a, a school in Ghana. Well, and our school had some sort of to believe. Um, relationship where they where they spoke to them, and I don't think I think it was meant to possibly lead to you swap over. Okay, but I had no yeah. intention of that. <clears throat> um, the guy I was speaking to in Ghana was also called Stephen. 
Oh, well. I mainly just spoke about Ghanaian footballers. Ben based questions. Oh, yeah. another one. Yeah, nice. Another one, please. Fine. Another one. I don't think we can continue this. <laughs> are you frightened for the children of the future who are being taught Fuck to me, use pens <laughs> less up. and less as the computer and typing is becoming the norm? No. Joe, when you have to write an essay and your hand's cramping, it's like, yeah. you okay out for this. Oh, grim. Yeah, I had like a callus for years from pushing too hard in a pen. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. All oh. the fucking time. I've still got it. It's like you a doing history. Sit to do loads of us. Yeah, like yeah. 10,000 word essays with a fucking. Jesus, how do you do a word count? fucking pen. You should just go it by averages. No one actually bothers. Right. Ways to trick it. If you if you run out of ideas, you just leave spaces between your words and shit. Big spaces. <laughs> <laughs> the space between this year and this one was. Not a very fast typer. Uh, I still feel more comfortable with pen. Thank you don't really get to yeah. yeah. Brave of you, Tom. Cheers. Well, I used to do these history essays. Mm. Like, they'd take me longer. For, well, no, maybe it wouldn't. Yeah, but history yeah. essays for us were just like, you know, modern day politics for you back in the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? It was... I enjoyed it. Oh, I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll, t- I'll take it. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Yeah, I think it, everyone's going to have their own laptop in schools <laughs> yeah, not too day. far away. Yeah. It's just going to yeah. be the way they do it. funny, all the generations were afraid of the fucking Nazis. Yeah. The yeah. Russians. I yeah, I wouldn't say we I'm afraid frightened. of keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, who's coming for us? You'll lose pen knives and you'll have yeah. tablet knives. Yeah. <laughs> tablet knives? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Siri, <laughs> Siri, let's fuck this mother up. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, blood. <laughs> 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 He's saying that Siri is a blood and not a crip. Yeah. Wow. That's, wow. That's wow. Celebrity gossips over here. Nothing you to do with me. You're just in California, eh? Yeah. <laughs> um, Max, you haven't answered it yourself. You just look. You look tired. Uh, no, you're, I'd you're say I'd utterly say... petrified for the children of tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're losing an art. You know. <laughs> did you Did you have um, the the pencil to pen transition? <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How old were you when you uh, moved? Young. Pen? I got stabbed with a pencil, and then I think we moved on to pen. You got, you got stabbed with the pencil. <laughs> yeah. Still looking yeah. for the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Spent three weeks. <laughs> and then they work. moved on to a pen. <laughs> yeah, they just have this. He's not had enough. <laughs> sharp, yeah. You can make pencil sharp, can't you? Yep. Yeah. They've got pencil sharpeners now. Yeah, man. Wowie! But no, they're sharper than pens, so you no, can get good, get a good get a good Oh, definitely. You found your pens. Can. Um, Who's using a fountain pen? We had to in school. <laughs> to really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had I mean, to use fountain in English, pens. We had to, yeah. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah. In college, I did. No, really? A freshly yeah, sharpened pencil. If you've really got, yeah, that point. if you've got that point on, <laughs> that hurts. Right in the back. <laughs> what <Yeah>. noise? <laughs> Why are you stabbing this pen? Stabbed a duck. Stabbed a duck. That's what I'm thinking. Go down to the bar. You want some bread? And some bread? We didn't have PlayStations, man. <laughs> we had to make our own <laughs> phone, man. Get him a stab a duck. Stab, stab a duck. Make him quack. <laughs> Where do they go in the rain? I was uh, prom king for stabbing a duck. <laughs> he was the best at stab a duck. <laughs> Just walking down the hallway, the jock. <laughs> He's the stab a duck captain. He's covered in blood and feathers. <laughs> <laughs> he is our king. Every boy wanted to be him. Every girl wanted to just taste him. <laughs> oh, good God. Um, what did you get stabbed for? I don't know what I got it stabbed for, but uh, it was in the eye. What? what? Yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about this. You're getting stabbed in the eye. It wasn't like a major one, but it was like a little... Anything in the eyes? Oh, yeah, grim. What? Yeah, horrible. Yeah. By who? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I was in like <laughs> Spanish school. I was in year. God, oh, it was like the f- like year three. Yeah, sure. I was really yeah. young. You're really seven. young. Yeah, probably about that age. Yeah. And was it a fight? No, no. I think it. Was, I think it was an accident. To be fair. Bit of friendly. Uh, bit of friendly banter. Friendly banter. Just went yeah. horrifically wrong. Oh. Uh, like a... He made a duck noise around the wrong guy, and his <laughs> reflexes were too quick. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know if it is. Oh, yes. McDonald had a. <laughs> 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 and a young Christopher Nolan was outside the window just taking notes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> stab a duck. <laughs> what was the question? Oh, yeah. When did you move on to uh, to pens? Uh, I was. Uh, when they invented young. him. I was. <laughs> way, way after my time. <laughs> <laughs> I had the chisel till I was in my 40s. 
<laughs> and I still remember my first quill. <laughs> A duck is stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my handwriting uh, isn't great. Um, so you, you're good at art, though. I thought it would have been. Yeah, but my handwriting, I don't know, it's just different, isn't it? Like I've got, you know, I'm, I'm good with a pencil shit at, when I'm shit like at writing and art. Yeah, I'm lucky. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> It's not terrible. It's just very kind of like fast, and yeah. like I know what it says. But mm. so they put me on pen. Uh, Should have been they a doctor. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah. You ever seen Russian cursive? No. It's just literally, you know, like you draw waves yeah. when you're in school. And it's just like that. It's just lines and lines of that. But there's people who can just look at it and interpret that mm. as what it is is just Russian language. It's just the way some people write. You know, like we write joined up letters. Yeah. They fucking write the language out, but it's literally just like that. Look at fancy fancy with his joined up letters. <laughs> Mental. It's like you get shorthand, is it? Where you just do like little yeah. symbols. Yeah, I tried. I had to try and learn shorthand. Yeah. Because uh, it's very handy if you go to court. And yeah. You've got it. You can't record anything that <laughs> happens in court as a journalist, but you've got to <laughs> write down everything that happens. I can write it wasn't me in shorthand. I've <laughs> 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 I try and write not guilty in looking cursive. But fuck it up. No strong, yeah, give it on. No! It wasn't me! Not guilty. <laughs> Any more pen questions? Yeah, yeah. For sake. But loads. I had to force, like, have a fucking coup to get into pen. My handwriting was that bad. <laughs> yeah. I had to, like, just forcibly take a pen and refuse to write. <laughs> did, you, did you have the red pen that was. Yeah, 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 yeah with, with the top. Yeah. Had, like, Brito or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 I was I was late in year four when I got my pen. I was beaten to using the pen by people on the table from where kids used to eat the fucking nibs. <laughs> what? Like people eat they, the nibs? They come out of school with like fucking blue tongues from sitting there all day going nah, no nah, man. <laughs> Did you ever suck like, on the suck on the pen uh, like to to move the ink? Yeah. Or blow it. Blow it. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're getting just a normal bardo thingy. Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. What about uh, gel pens? Did you ever sniff those? Did you ever flavoured? I had a popcorn one. Yeah. Was, oh, God, start yeah, of my flavored. descent. Yeah. But scent. Gel pens kind of passed me by. Was, uh, yeah. See, there was a girl who used to bring in gel pens. Oh, yeah. And they were like the smelly nice ones. But then people used to come over and just... One of those like, smelly oh, nice I, girls. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I use your gel pens? And then she started out by going, oh, yeah, fine. But then people, folk would just steal them, so she'd get oh, more. And by the end of the day... pens in the back of the room. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. That was just it. Like, all the kids on the table, like, sucking pens, sniffing pens, <laughs> stabbing ducks with pens. <laughs> it was fucked. <laughs> the old school, Ofsted came in, <laughs> took us all into care. <laughs> just opened up a door. <laughs> <laughs> just just wafted a fruity, <laughs> fruity sense. <laughs> please, please tell me the school's duck is all right. <laughs> I seem to remember He's a porcupine now <laughs> There's a He doesn't move anymore <laughs> Come like on a... Quacky Make a noise <laughs> There's a gel pen That was coffee flavoured I thought what kid What <laughs> kid mm, <laughs> Don't talk to me Until I've had my sniff of Joe in the morning <laughs> George Clooney On the adverts <laughs> No one's talking to you mate This is hot shit man <laughs> Fuck off What <laughs> <laughs> no one's talking don't to you. Don't talk Max. to me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> don't even think about it. <laughs> I hate Mondays. <laughs> I swear it's a BO pen, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my impression of Tom. <laughs> I swear I put my stinking fucking idiot pen in today. <laughs> Shut up, up Sam. Oh, it's my new pen. <laughs> Where am I to show her, Mum? <laughs> we can all laugh together. <laughs> Have you pissed yourself? <laughs> Furiously colouring <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no. it. He's got everywhere. <laughs> you shit yourself. <laughs> my pens are leaking. It's actually, pens are over there. <laughs> no, it's my <me> pens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh god! They missed a trick there. The makers of gel pen. Yeah. <laughs> <He said. laughs> Has the humble pen changed the course of your life at any time? <sighs> Maybe like signing something. I guess. Not yeah, really. probably. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> when did you realise the pen truly is mightier than this? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> 
There comes a time in every man's life. A, a pen, a, a sword never got you kicked out of m and when it leaked in your pocket and you start stinking of shit. <laughs> <laughs> when, when did that occur to me? I guess, I mean, the thing is, if I'd ever thought about it, then I don't think I would have mm. ever sure. denied that that is true. Lawyers, lawyers, it will have been for lawyers when they were like, yeah, if you do that, if you stab me, then I'll sue you. Because <laughs> they've, they've been to school yeah, yeah. and they've read yeah. the law and they've yeah. written it down so it stays in their head. They've written it down, yeah. 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 Isn't it about um, an idea? You can mobilise a group of people with an idea more than you can with a show of force. Yeah. So I guess there's that one as well. So, yeah. Have you ever come up with an idea that's motivated lots of people that you couldn't have motivated them by standing in a town centre with a broadsword and going, "Come with me, <laughs> 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 come on, guys, <laughs> <laughs> we're about to change the duck stabbing game forever." <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, there was a there's a time in in Rainford when uh, I've told you this story where a guy got hit in the head by a ball and lay there. Oh, yeah. Lying face down in the grass. <laughs> the guy who hit him with the ball apologised. He wasn't having it. Stephen, it's me from Ghana. <laughs> I've come all this way. <laughs> so uh, he stuck a pen in his bum. <laughs> He's just broken out. Oh, yeah. He had, he, had his, he, had his, he had his school pants on, but he just stuck a pen in the gap in his crack. And, uh, and that's, that's where I thought... A sword, a sword would pierce his, his yeah. cheeks, but the, the pen just sits beautifully. It's not as humorous, is it? A sword, yeah, a sword yeah, would have caused yeah, belly, physical yeah. injury. Meant to pull it out, it would have been like uh, Alexander the Great. <laughs> you mean King, uh, King Arthur? Arthur? No, Alexander the Great. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, he, he did a, a really mate. great thing with he swords. He did a sword and an arsehole. He's yeah. a magician. <laughs> it's Excalibur. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for... Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. <laughs> yeah, um, Cameron, you are our detective. <laughs> the item right. this week is a pen. <laughs> Just borrow of pens. Hey, the listeners at home, I- I'm holding a pen. Oh, fucking hell, classic pen. Bloody mighty pen, if you ask me. Do your detective work, you scoundrel. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> right, okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, stop it there. <laughs> this is no, where no, we no. peaked. <laughs> After Excalibur, we need a lot of good. <laughs> uh, okay. Hiya, Max. Hello. <laughs> okay. I used to put this up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I borrowed this of a teacher about six years ago. And I've never, never given, given it back. back. So how did you keep track that this was the pen that you borrowed? I don't have a lot of pens. When have I ever needed to use a pen? You know, day to day life. Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, it's just in my little pot of pens. I've got a, a Batman pen. I've got. Tell a, me all the other pens. Batman pen. Yep. Green, orange, pink highlighter <laughs> pens. Oh, another classic Biro pen from Bic. I don't need a pen, how but can... I've got a pink highlighter <laughs> pen which I use every week. <laughs> how can you remember? The because difference between... Have you the, never seen a Bic Byra pen that says Bic on it in big letters? It's paper, like a, mate, not a subsidiary it, of Bic? I don't believe so. <sighs> Seems like you don't out. know enough about <laughs> pens to differentiate one from the other, Max. They look different. They? I can look at an Aston Martin and a Chevrolet and go, <laughs> they're different, they're the same thing, but they're different. <laughs> they? I don't know much about their brands, though. Or how you pronounce them. Never seen, uh, <laughs> never never seen James Bond Chevrolet. driving around Chevrolet. a Chevrolet. <laughs> I mean, that is very different in aesthetics yeah. to a Bic pen. So are you going to give this pen back to this teacher? Of course not. It was six years ago. Oh, right, I'm not going to rule you out already. Okay. I'm I think you back. should. Uh, rule out pens. Hey! hey. Follow him. We're slowly forgetting about Excalibur. Let's not be stationary here. Let's keep moving. Oh, you've ruined it. <laughs> okay, Tom. <laughs> Tell me about this pen. <clears throat> this pen was gifted to me yesterday. You fucking kidding? No. Well, it looks like it's been used more than yesterday. Yeah, Who gifted six years it? of use. It wasn't new. <laughs> Who gifted you? Uh, I was at work. I had to get something signed. I went up to a client and they signed it. Put the paper and the pen down. And I said, is this your pen? And he said, no, you can keep it. And I didn't need it, but rather than say... So was it their pen? Yeah, it was her pen. Why, why did she turn up with her own pen? 
Oh, why would I've got about very twenty-five question. pens in my bag? Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. Can you show me one, please? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just slap them all here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the. For listeners at home, we have uh, lots of pens. a buffet of pens here. The bic there, it's different pens. from a paper, mate. So it is. Can I say that's an excessive amount of pens? Yeah, that's yeah, a bit too many. I just acquire them, and then it's always good to have a pen, isn't it? This your pen? Yeah, man. <laughs> What's the pen look like? That's my winning pen. Is it really? Yeah. Why'd you call it that? Because in the in the video mm-hmm. we did the other day, the race video. Yeah. I was ticking everything off. Not just you. <laughs> Remember your angry face? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> with that pen. Oh. So after we'd do something, we'd, we'd run along, and then we'd go, hold on, we need to take that off, and we'd cross it out. I did think it'd be handy if we had a pen. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. We had it's loads of these. pens. <laughs> just a bit, because, you know, we were always thinking, have we really done everything that quickly? Uh, so we had to double check. And I suppose you would have that handy on your purse. What bag did you take when you were on the challenge, the race? Um, I had... The, the little white bag that you were holding on the night out and then I had a black night bag and a black Adidas bag. Have you brought any of them with you today? No. So you've not give very much thought into what you were bringing in today then, really, if you were just going to bring out a pen from your coat pocket? I I thought this is the Byro Pens podcast, I'll bring in a pen. Oh yeah. It's clever, if you think about <laughs> it. <laughs> and And I had... Uh, but I packed it specifically today. It was out of the coat again. So why did you pack that pen in particular and not any any other pen winning to bring pen. with you? So you've won with this pen before? Um, I consider myself to have a good life. And this <laughs> pen's been integral. All right. That's one of the questions earlier. I am a winner and I own this pen. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore. If I were to break this pen in half right yeah. now, what hurt. would your reaction be? You'd be hurt? Please what don't. What are you doing that for? That's my winning pen. <laughs> I won with that pen. Did I mention? Would I it did. be good content if I broke it? I've had that for six years, mate. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, You're a liar. You. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> did it? Did I break your your Irish hat? You're no, losing just... Irish hat. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, if you thought that I was actually going to break it, then you'd have been like, "Oh no!" <laughs> Therefore, I think you're a liar, and it's Tom's pen. I win again. Is <laughs> it your pen? Is it your pen? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. sake. I did flinch a little bit so I didn't want to get a pen in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that. Great, great uh, content for Byron Pens 3, though. Yeah, yeah of course. Really yeah. good. A bit close that time. Still a loser. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tee <laughs> Let's jump into. Uh... Just get yourself a winning pen. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's the trick. <laughs> that's the yeah. fucking trick. Viewers' embarrassing stories. Oh, I love this bit. Uh, pardon me, this one is from yeah. Sam. So, one time, I went on a night out in Brighton, and we were all drunk. You know that vibe, you Bombay bad boy. Anyway, we were sat at a taxi rank eating shitty sloppy pizza, and the girl was getting into a taxi with her friend, and she kept falling out of the taxi. We presume presumably thought she had a mad one so every time she fell out we all cheered and chanted after several cheers her friend turns around and says she's not drunk she's got cerebral palsy not my proudest moment i must say and a friend didn't help her into the taxi <laughs> she I was laughing too was helping <laughs> she was cheering with the lads <laughs> you wouldn't believe this right come on stop now she's got cerebral palsy <laughs> that's horrific that's yeah. terrible uh don't do that sam you've uh i assume it's an honest mistake but yeah yeah, the context is made him think, oh, yeah. <laughs> Still the kind of a few thing, Jaegers. Uh, mm. Yeah, you watch it happen and you go like, ah, oh, toss a thing to do. Yeah. Like the fella who's going round on women and jumping on the shoulders, you know, to oh, get yeah. a header on a corny. You know, and just... people, people that cheer when their glass is broken in a bar or a restaurant. Yeah, yeah bingo. Just, uh, Fuck you, just, Sam. Yeah, just don't do it, mate. Scum. But keep watching the podcast. Though, yeah, cause... thank you. Thank you for getting <laughs> in touch. Thank you for giving us <laughs> some great content. <laughs> Now we have some celebrity meetings, which is uh, just fantastic stuff and, uh, you know, is is carrying the podcast. (coughs) This one's from Ellis. Not very interesting, but it made my day. Years ago, I saw the Chuckle Brothers outside of a Toys R Us. I shouted to me at them and they shouted to you back. Lovely guys. That's what you want. (laughs) Well done, Barry. RIP. Well done, Paul. Um, That's what you want. I'm sure they get that all the bloody time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And yet, and yet they still do it. What are they doing outside of Toys R Us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it. 
<laughs> Just waiting. To me, to me. Come on. Oh, fine. <laughs> Got it, Ben Scott. <laughs> this one is from Kieran Stewart. I once met Cardiff City footballer Aaron Gunnison in a casino at 1am, and he decided to come to our table and stand by me. Doom, 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 doom. Put around 2k on black, and it came in. He then hugged and celebrated with me. Didn't offer any of the winnings to me, mind. You didn't. It's not that you said go, put it on oh. black. <laughs> Kieran, you are whinging and expecting money for nothing. Yeah, that's poor, that. He's hugged you. He's embraced you. Yeah. Let you be part of the moment. Fuck you, Kieran. <laughs> what is it with these cunts today? Yeah, man. <laughs> Finally, someone said it. Really holding the podcast up there. <laughs> uh, tell you what is something when the nicest people who we've heard from today <laughs> are suspected pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Speaking of... Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> yeah, fuck. So, uh, someone who belongs in the pen. <laughs> hey. Shut up, I'm trying to watch the TV. Yeah. Said his cell, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's in prison cells, with please. Joe Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> Rightly so, that's my celeb meetup. <laughs> uh, saying your penis is celeb meat is just very <laughs> egotistical. <laughs> well, <laughs> celeb meetup, man. That's celeb meat, is it? <laughs> and that's Tully Max. Uh, no, that's my joke. Again, get out. <laughs> what a great segment it has been today. <laughs> celeb meat. <laughs> Max, would you wear that basket on your head at some point? Could yeah, I'll do it one day. <laughs> Christmas special? Yeah, yeah. Um, to that. Do you want to read it? Uh, no, come on, it's your uh, telly, Max. Okay. Uh, it's a little... Talk us through it. Like, grab it by balls, I mean by the balls, or... or okay. Could... I don't know what the well, general segment is. It was a Thursday night like any other. Dippy egg for tea. Little... <laughs> I love Dippy Egg. I'm on board hey. with this already. Little spoon of jelly to wash it down. Life was good. And then my mother put me in my nappy and placed me in my crib. Life was swag fresh being a baby. But this one night, she made a mistake that would change the course of our lives forever. She left the bedroom door open. Oh. And got like... I could hear everything. It woke my mind beyond belief. <laughs> I can remember the sounds as if it were yesterday etched into my brain. Roads work on the M21. Trains running late. Pile up kills 12. Mother had left a late night traffic update on the local news running. It was eye opening for a baby who had no concept of roads. And the only jam I knew was the warm raspberry jam my mother would let me suckle from her finger. Some people complain they peaked too early. I was a great footballer at school. I won a talent competition. I was prom king and now I'm on the 130th best ever podcast in the country. We're up to 130th. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did not that anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah, didn't, didn't lie to the viewers. <laughs> but imagine being a baby and listening to the sweetest, most soothing sound you ever heard and knowing nothing will ever beat that moment. I was so happy. I also shit my pants then as well, <laughs> and it made people happy. <laughs> God, you never know how good you have it. Is it, is it make happy? No, it's all about my parents for knowing I had a healthy uh, digestive system. You instantly shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of something that makes you happy. The, uh, the late night traffic update is 10 out of 10 remote controls. I haven't worked out a scoring system yet. There you go. So that was a telemax from when you were how old? Six. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, one jammy. <laughs> dippy egg sounds great. Yeah, yeah. I love a dippy egg. Uh, never no, had dippy egg. Dippy eggs and jam. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Never had dippy egg. No, no, how'd you do it? Yeah. Uh, is it soft boil it. Soft boil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Soft it, so it, soft. Turn it to uh, overboil because yeah. then yeah, you, yeah, you, your soldiers aren't getting in. Yeah. It's a closed barracks. I know. Make poached egg. You know, make a nice yeah. poached. <laughs> anyway, never mind. It's just Save that for eggs. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> See who tries eggs. <laughs> oh, Could be an Easter special. Yeah, I'll yeah, watch yeah, it. yeah, of course. Two part. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got a lot to say. Yeah. God, yeah. Have you seen an emu egg? Yeah, they're fucking ostrich huge, eggs, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever had ostrich meat? Like a, like a, it's like a chicken steak, but it's fucking. No. It's what? Then it shat itself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can hear it. It's good. <laughs> I'm bite that. <laughs> you stand in the toilet slathering. Me, me so fresh and still shitting itself. <laughs> A skilled vet could revive it after it's been cut. <laughs> Stick it on the grill. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like when you go, when you go into a KM. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me go vegan. Yeah. Every time you bite it, a piece of meat. <laughs> um, don't look hungry, son. <laughs> we don't finish that. There'll be no chalk eyes for you. <laughs> you know, sure, he bites into the other chalk eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gone wrong. Look over to your dad again. That's my boy. <laughs> What's a chalk <chuck> ass? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> where's my prototype gone <laughs> who's eating my ass get out oh. get out I always have to bring it down like comedy that. mate that's not comedy it's good comedy <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> oh watch it what's the curtain <laughs> Hello! Hello? Who's Hello, you? mate! Who are you? Brian Spieth! <laughs> Brian Spieth? Brian Spieth! Nice. Fucking local hard man! <laughs> Brian! Proper nut of me! <laughs> but you know what? I've changed my ways! <laughs> Brian Spieth? You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe this! But I used to have fights on the daily, on the reg! So, sorry. sorry, Brian, one, one moment. <laughs> No, and I, I had a fight with these three kids once. <laughs> Just hang, hang fire for a minute, Brian. I was in a news agent trying to get my, my daily my daily groceries. Just, just, and this little five-year-old kid came up to me. Just a minute, Brian. Started eating oh, Brian. me big and mix, so I booted him in the head. <laughs> but I've changed my ways now. Just be quiet, just for a second, Brian. I've decided. <laughs> I've dis- Brian, I think I've got your name wrong. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think I've got your name wrong. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I, think I, I think I might have to go again, but I'm so sorry. Right, I'm, I'm going to go. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> no, 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 stay back. My brother might be here soon. My <laughs> 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 brother might be. Hold <laughs> 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 on. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a twin brother brain? Brian Speed. Go back. No, go back. Chris, do you look familiar? He's not the guy. Oh! <laughs> The family call for Brian's cops. <laughs> Who? Well, you got him. Local hard man. <laughs> Who? Hey, sorry. <laughs> Brian Scops. That's been claimed. I just spelled that right. B R Y A N. S Q U P T H. S K U P T H. That's a that's an unusual name. <laughs> well, I'm from I'm from a different country. What the fuck is this? It's a name. Read it and weep. Can I see it? Well, that's just his name. Brian Scoop. <laughs> Why do you need to see it? Can you just visualise it? You can Brian Scoop. So basically, <laughs> I'm local hard man. Yeah, I go brother. Yeah. What's he called? <laughs> He's called Brian something. <laughs> Brian speaks. He speaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were he speaking to you earlier? Well, but, uh, <laughs> a lot of us. He's stuck as shit. <laughs> and it, probably you. <laughs> proper bad. Probably you and your haircut, mate. It was oh, it's stanky. Man. Does he have a gel pen, mate? Yeah, he was proper stinky. <laughs> got a few in his bucket. <laughs> <laughs> got a few things in his pocket, really, like a really, knife. Really fucking stinky. Guess what I've got in my pocket? <laughs> oh, you, you your brother carries a knife, and you're in the police force. It seems. <laughs> yeah. No, I am. I've been on the hunt for him. Was he here before? Stores. Yeah, he was here about two minutes ago. You probably <laughs> two him. minutes ago. I could probably go if I go, if I left right now. I catch him. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't moving well. Aren't you on your you break though? Yeah, I'm on my break. I've 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 had my jelly. I've had my poached egg. Funnily enough, you're wearing the exact same outfits. Well, I mean, our mother used to jelly dress us poached egg. We had the same thing to wear every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, like a cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you said you were a local hard man. Local hard man, yes. <laughs> Why? Well, so three well, weeks ago, <laughs> I got in trouble with the police for kicking a baby. <laughs> baby mushroom, I meant to say. <laughs> I went to a field of baby mushrooms and I kicked them all. Yeah. And the farmers were so peeved. 
Yeah. <laughs> what? Beaved. <laughs> like a bit angry. Read a dictionary. All the farmers. All the farmers. <laughs> you know, you could be from America. You know? I could be from Dudley in America. <laughs> Ryan, by any chance is your name actually B R Y A N S Q U P E T H? Is that is that how it's? It could be. Scubbin. Yes, Scubbin. Yeah, you. You know me. Hero, hero enforcer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hero enforcer. Yeah, for the mob. <laughs> you know, mob. Not yeah. mob like your haircut. You, you go. No, mob like mafia man. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You know, mafia man. No, so you're in the police. Man. Yeah, I'm member. Of, no, I'm undercover police. Well, but you were well, saying. Well, you're not undercover anymore, are you? No, nobody watches this shit. <laughs> That'd be fine. So you were kicking mushrooms. Kicking mushrooms. <laughs> and I was saying, oh, I like look at this film. Shame if something were to happen to it. A kick mushroom. <laughs> and Farmer was fuming. And that ingratiated you with the crime family. Yeah, they got. They gave me big books. Big books and they say anything fun? No, no, not like my pa- yeah, like my partner. Big books, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's funny, you. He's funny, him. He's funny, He's funny guy. Let's leave out of his book. Funny uh, guy. Big book. Oh, you don't want to do that. So basically, <laughs> very possessive. <laughs> is he? A bit like me. <laughs> uh, I had a, How so? I was that yeah. news agent and little baby, little man, little five-year-old so, man. He was eating big and mix. No, I said, that. "That's my blue dolphin." Uh, threw him out the shop. <laughs> Fuck. You're joking me. No. You picked him up, threw him out the shop. No, I didn't pick him up. You told you're, me. you're an angry man, Brian. I'm very fuming. You, <laughs> your brother also called Brian. <laughs> yeah. We, Referenced kicking why children. Brian? Are you sure you're brothers because you got the same first name? No, the way our family name. do it. When we get married, we take their first Who name. the fuck married you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. No, so my family, my mother's maiden name was her first name. Scuppeth. And she got married to father, and so she became Brian oh. Wilson. <laughs> we, they take first name, and then the babies we call Brian. <laughs> ah. And then change to... sister. Yeah. Wow. They're Brian. all called Brian. All of them, apart from Brian. one of them. Who's that? Susan. <laughs> Susan. They forgot. <laughs> Very stupid, my parents. Oh, Susan's surname. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> oh, they've had a bit of a mess. They're very, very foolish. No. <laughs> Basically, my father wrote it back to front because he's looking in the mirror. And you're a local hard man. <laughs> local hard man. Have you what's got the, What's the hardest thing you've done? <laughs> Fucking. So I'm walk up the stairs. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's funny because of my bad ankle. And getting past those curtains. <laughs> you, you're talking about your haircut again. So the curtains match the drapes, as they used to say, back uh, in my hometown. A bit weird. Where are you from, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of Dudley in America? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very big around there. <laughs> so basically, I moved up here in my RV. <laughs> you, uh, um, I think a joke would have been made, but you're a hard <laughs> What? <laughs> a joke may have been made, but uh, you were too afraid to say because you're a hard man. <laughs> what joke? <laughs> he, he, he seems to know what the joke is. What joke was yeah, it? It's a lovely moment. It's really I don't nice do moment. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Brian? Crimes. <laughs> <laughs> So Brian, you're undercover as a police officer. Yeah. But you're actually a criminal. I'm a criminal, man. Have you ever seen that movie with Matt Damon in? No. Yeah, yeah. Leo, Leo, what's it called? Um, Leonardo DiCaprio as well. That's the film, yeah. Um, Titanic. The Departed. The Departed. Yeah. They, yeah. They, Mark Wahlberg's in that. Oh. Have you seen Daddy's Home too? <laughs> Never seen Daddy. <laughs> Departed from the cinema when that Brian. started. Mark Wahlberg's a bit of a hard man, isn't he? No, not as hard as me. No. Well, what's could... the hardest thing you've done? No, I punched a wall yeah. when I was in solitary <laughs> confinement. <laughs> <laughs> I was in solitary confinement for about a week. And have you seen that movie? The one where he, he goes through the shit pipe to get free. Titanic. He used a spoon. <laughs> he punched the wall clean off him. He's just Mark Berg now. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Berg, I like that. You're funny. He's a funny man. Yeah, take funny a leaf man. out of his book. <laughs> <laughs> We've established that's not going to happen. <laughs> Brian, you're oh wait, what? I'm just in an anagram of your name, Brian Spooker. I sent you spunky breath. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm fuming, re, re, I'm fuming. I'm local hardman. How can you do that to me? <laughs> Sounds like you're taking some to hard in your gut, Brian. <laughs> you know, this is I'm fuming. I was sucking on spunky pen oh, earlier as well. Oh, spunky gel pen. <laughs> spunky gel pen. It's gone down my gullet. <laughs> I'm fuming at you. I'm going to wait for you outside. <laughs> well, thank, you, thank you for that. Your brother's probably <laughs> still out there, mate. You're going to deal with him first. 
That was it, Brian. <laughs> Spucketh everybody. Or scuppeth. I forget. Scuppeth. Oh, Brian scuppeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> <sighs> well, it's water. I can't breathe. You okay, Max? Yeah, just... Uh... I was just threatened, so I've got this hammer now. What, what happened? Just, uh, do you know Brian, Brian Scuppeth? Like oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, like a hard man. Yeah, I said something I shouldn't have to. Oh, fuck. I've read it. Really? Read really really the newspaper, mate? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, who wants something uh, really political and fun? <laughs> Cammy Whammy G tells you how it's going to be. You can't handle the truth. Well, I didn't vote for you. Keeps going. She never stops, does Cammy it? Whammy G tells. <laughs> okay. I think that motorways in England you should be allowed to drive however fast you like. Because it works in Germany. Good Germany thing. is efficient. Yeah. Very efficient. Could, would, do they have more than three lanes, though, on the autobahn? I don't fucking know, do <laughs> Politician, done, uh, Cameron Green. Done some research. <laughs> it's weird that the Green Party is proposing cars go as fast as they I'll leave it to my uh, Minister for Transport, you know. Who is that? I don't know, he's here somewhere. Local <laughs> brain. He's here somewhere. Local, <laughs> brain. <laughs> he's, he's here somewhere. <laughs> Local road man. I'll, I'll do it myself. Um, yeah, because then if you're in your car going as fast as you like, <clears throat> then you don't need to bother about... You'll have experienced it the other day. Folk are fucking blocking you in on the motorway, sitting in the fucking third lane, going 60-odd mile an hour in the third lane. You'd, you'd be shitting yourself. Yeah. You won't go anywhere you near that. Da- but then... If there are cars in that, are they going to undertake? And then there's the risk of mm. you moving over. Fram. How yeah. many deaths have to happen before you take that uh, policy back? Take that L. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I took a fat L today, y'all. Imagine fucking Boris turns up. George I'll, I'll, I'll have to take the L on this one. George Bush after 9 11. <laughs> we took a fat L. <laughs> We were looking for some dubs, but we got a fat hole instead. <laughs> we got to keep it one, honey. This is, I'll be repealing this policy. It's one nil to the Taliban in the series. <laughs> Three legs, baby. We're coming back for y'all. That's what they call me. <laughs> Three leg bush. <laughs> Imagine that's the book he was reading when he got told. <laughs> Max, get out. <laughs> this man was different. He had three legs. It's a pop up. <laughs> George, firstly, stop reading that fucking book. And secondly, <laughs> but look, it's amazing. We have some terrible news. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Instant coming, man. Ow! <laughs> Punch the fucking tape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, local heart man Brian Scuppeth wouldn't have been asked. Yeah. <laughs> do you, you want to make a new rule? <clears throat> um, yeah. What um, comes to your mind? Christmas yeah, everyone Sunday? should have um, one day around Christmas where everyone of all religions, ethnicities, and sex of society should come together yeah. and just have a nice. Just fucking beside the cock as well now. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw me all out of whack. And have a nice. <laughs> These bloody vague government directions. <laughs> Honestly. Everybody, everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck me. Merry <laughs> Christmas, have a nice. <laughs> everyone have a... Have a uh, I've lost my last page. <laughs> have a nice. <laughs> everybody have, you know, not Christmas, not Hanukkah, mm. not Ramadan. Just a nice... Just a nice, yeah. Dinner. Have, have a nice. Have a merry... <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> I see what's well, going to happen. We've, Have a nice we've Peppa Pig. <laughs> it's just this recipe, my peppercorn pig. Peppa Everybody suck in some nice. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine out of the cinema. Yeah. <laughs> you got your little bag of Scotch eggs. <laughs> That's a little bag. <laughs> you didn't even open your mouth to eat them. You're just throwing them in your face. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing, man. It's just it's just awesome. <laughs> in Cannes Film Festival, when everyone stands up to clap, it's <laughs> just covered in bread crumbs. Yeah, I'll fling it off. <laughs> Sitting on a pile of <laughs> scotch eggs I bought in. <laughs> <laughs> the seats around you have moved away. <laughs> <laughs> only, one p- only one person <laughs> left in the cinema. I was looking at me back at scotch eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Fat L guy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you very much. Well done, Cameron. <laughs> Making the world a better place. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, Something like that. Hey, let's let's go from reality to just wacky, wacky mentalness. Yeah. It's Tom Looney. Looney, Looney, Looney. Tom Looney, can I ask, what's the key to a Looney Christmas? <clears throat> just don't think about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overthink it. <laughs> <laughs> crazy man. <coughs> that would Scale be crazy. Would be my answer. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Them. Yeah. Little trains as well. They're good. Use yeah. a tree yeah. like a pole right. dancing thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck a relative. <laughs> that would be crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have a nice. <laughs> Have a nice one, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too far. <laughs> When you go down. <laughs> to be down to see the presents. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's left this whoopee kitchen under here? Yeah. The fact that you twisted that guy. <laughs> There's no whoopee cushion, man. Uh, uh, oh, Tom. Uh, that's yeah. what I meant. I was granny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> when, you're, when you're chomping that clit, yeah. Cheers, guys. So to speak. <laughs> Reach around for the chuck ice. Um. Which hole that coming out of, man? <laughs> I'm just taking a fat L, y'all. You just pulled. <laughs> you just pulled a Christmas cracker. <laughs> She's been max a Christmas dinner. She's with Scott James going, She's pinking off him. No, it's like we're for Boxing Day. Oh, get on with this. A lot of excess, uh, lot of excess episode. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh. Christmas. Um, yes. So, uh, now Google this week. Wow. wow. Yahoo. Didn't even fucking use it. So I have uh, ranked. The same for me. Yeah. I've ranked uh, the items on a Christmas dinner plate. Ooh. Ooh. A vegan one. Think, uh, there's, no, there's crossover. Um, well, uh, 12 items. <sighs> Christmas. Not, that's a lot, but I'm going to go down from 12, yeah? Yeah. You ready? This is like okay. top of the pops. <clears throat> Number 12, Yorkshire pudding. It's not Ooh. overly Christmassy, I feel like. Yeah, yeah you can have that any other day of the you week. You can have it, yeah. And it if it's too crispy, it's like, What about yeah, a great off. big one so you don't have a plate, you just have everything? That's Sunday dinner, isn't it? Pudding. That's Sunday dinner. Bomb of the pudding will get that. Oh, yeah, I'd still rather have that than parsnips, though. Fair. That's You're going to save room for Chocca. Well, you're you're not, <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> not going to be happy then. Uh, 11 broccoli. Uh, it's, I like broccoli. It's a nice veg, but I think there's better Christmas veggies. Sprouts. Yeah. Nice wrapped in bacon, cooked in olive oil. <laughs> Something just wrapped in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> guys wrapped in bacon. <laughs> bacon. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Come here. A star on the tree wrapped in bacon. Advent calendar just olive oil pouring. <laughs> <laughs> just a house on fire because of all the oil in the room. Have a very salty Christmas. You have it in kitchen's covered. You ever, you ever wondered how to make your junk ice even tastier? <laughs> Mistletoe. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm right in the middle of my fucking segment. Anyway, let's stay on task. Um, <clears throat> ten bread sauce. I've never had it. Yeah, it's quite Ooh. nice, but it's, you know, it's not like... Is it just sauce made out of bread? Yeah, it's good. I really like it. Uh, okay, this is controversial. Nine, I've gone for the meat. Turkey. Uh, Turkey, very uh, bland. I'd have very, that above parsnips. Uh, very bland on its own. Even, uh, even the equivalent of a nut roast. Well, yeah, the nut roast is disappointing too. It's just a bit dry. Yeah, uh, and it's nothing without gravy. Hello. Yeah, come in, yeah. This is unfucking believable My plan works. My God. Anyway, uh, I'll give you the top five. Five pigs in blankets. Four nice. roast nice. potatoes. Nice. Three. Yes. I've gone for carrots and parsnips. I fucking love them. Oh, Two. Yeah. Gravy. Nothing. Yeah. It's nothing without gravy. And number one, personally, stuffing. Oh, <laughs> love stuffing. It's Christmas at least. Yeah. Stage and onion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I did yeah. the desserts as well, just to fuck off Christmas pudding. I've gone for a trifle. I like a trifle. <laughs> well done. Uh, Joe, Joe got us two hours. I said, "Can we get another hour, please?" Because we won't do it in two. And he went, "Yeah." Should we, we boo Joe for about ten boo. seconds? Yeah, boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> boo! Merry Christmas, uh, producer! Stupid fucking Joe! Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Barrow Pens Two. Um, <laughs> please stay safe. I'll be joined by Cameron Green. Green Ben. Max Smith. Hey, Smith Benz. Hey. Tom Looney. Yeah, cheers. And Brian Scuppeth, who is uh, he's at the Scarborough. Yeah. Mm. And Brian's yeah. beef as well. Don't forget it. There's an ambulance outside. <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder what kid he's in this time. <laughs> the bodies of kids, Lord. <laughs> Go and jump. Uh, As we told you it was hard, man. <laughs> just coming and pick and mix. Stay safe, stay humble. Come jump at me, come at me, not you. 